The Red Bay Tiger football coaches show is on the air with Red Bay Tiger head coach Michael Jackson. Your host for the Tiger football coaches show is Jack Ivey. Hello again and welcome into the Red Bay High School Football Coaches Show. I'm Jack Ivey along with Coach Michael Jackson. He'll be joining us in just a minute to talk about, of course, the game this past Friday night at Addison. Of course, we got to go down to Belmont Friday night. We'll talk about that in a minute. We'll also look at highlights of uh, the game uh, for this past Friday night in just a second. Boy, a tough loss to a very good ball club, the Addison Bulldogs, this past Friday night on the road to Addison. Uh, Tiger fans uh, showed up in good numbers, especially for a long trip. But, boy, we run into a really good ball club that could uh, – run the football well, a lot of experience in Addison and a lot of tradition there. And Addison came out on top 39 to 12 in that game. Uh, the Tigers uh, had a pretty good night throwing the football, 154 yards, uh, 162, pretty balanced there on the rushing side. It ended up with 316 total. And once again, uh, short end of the stick on the score. And once again, 39 to 12. I want to say, uh, first of all, thanks to Mr. Smothers and all the staff down at Addison. and. Uh, you know, a lot of times you travel on the road, you don't know what kind of facilities you're running into as far as not only playing but broadcasting. But uh, uh, you talk about over and beyond the call of duty, Mr. Smothers and his staff uh, was there for us in every which way. And uh, Coach, I'm going to bring you in. And uh, the coaching staff uh, and stats and all that stuff, they had a suite down at the end. We actually <laughs> swapped. They, I think they was going to put us on the end. And we moved to a little smaller room because we didn't need it. But, boy, they had a suite down well, there. Well, they, they do a really good job with, uh, with hosting people. And, and, they you know, they got a good football team. And, you know, our kids played hard. I, you know, we went back and evaluated the game. And, you know, it's one of those nights where they got the best of us. And we knew going in that they play really well at home. They've lost one game in three years. Uh, they got some really physical kids. Um, and we would have had to uh, match that early in the game, you know, first half. Went back and forth there and was, did some good things. Um, but, uh, you know, they got a very solid team. They run the ball really well. They kind of stopped our run game and made us kind of one-dimensional. We did throw the ball pretty good, and Jalen had like six catches, and Kobe had a good night throwing the ball. But uh, against a team like that that controls the ball and is able to run the ball so well, um, really it's, it kind of puts you behind the eight ball if you can't do but one thing. And so uh, they did a good job with um, – with making us throw the ball, stopping our run game, and then did a good job running the ball and blocking up front. You know, I, we, we challenged our kids this, uh, this past weekend to uh, understand we're usually the ones that are able to run the ball on anybody. Uh, but you're going to you're gonna come across teams every so often, hopefully not all the time, <laughs> that, can, yeah. uh, that can match up with your strength and power. And when you do, you're going to have to step your game up. So uh, we don't want to take nothing away from Madison. They had a good football team. I, I was proud of the effort our kids gave. Um, they played extremely hard in a game like that, especially over there. Um, but we don't want to take nothing away from Madison. Addison played a good, a good solid game. They do what they've been doing the last three years, uh, taking care of the football, running the football really well, breaking some long runs. Um, we got to be able to do, get them down a little, a little bit better than that. But, um, you know, overall, we had great support there. Awesome. Uh, you know, great support there. And it's, uh, it's kind of a tough atmosphere to play in. Uh, it's kind of like an old school football back in the day. Um, but, you know, we've got to go ahead and we've got to get ready. We've got to get better. Hopefully we get a couple of guys back this week uh, or uh, next week because we're open next week. So I'm hoping that we're getting – for the second half of the season we'll have uh, Alex back, we'll have Gavin back, we'll have uh, some guys back where uh, some of our guys are not playing both ways the whole time. It kind of helps them out a little bit. Of course, up against a tough team like Addison, they're going to wear you down with that run game. And uh, uh, it's one of those situations it's hard a lot of times to get the defense off of the field. But uh, when you're going both ways, That's it, right. it, doesn't uh, matter. it doesn't matter. You're not yeah. going to get to leave the field anyway. And, uh, but, uh, Coach, uh, this game right here, I want to also recognize, you know, Mason Holt uh, had six catches yes, in the ball Mason game. Did well. so Mason did a good job there. So, Keith, let's go ahead and roll those highlights as we headed down to Addison, Alabama this past Friday night. Um, in the ball game, of course, I uh, told you we had 13 uh, catches in the ball game for 154 yards. And coach, our captains for the week as Kobe, we get ready. Kobe, Tanner, uh, Engel, and uh, Noah. And you see, there's our eight seniors. And, you know, I'm proud of those guys. Those guys have worked really hard. And, you know, some of them hadn't played a lot of football. You know, you see three of them there that's played a lot of football. I was, I was watching the Belmont game for next week, and I know uh, Kobe and Tanner and Engel. 
uh, Engel and Kobe started over there two years ago against them as sophomores. So uh, that's pretty much the extent of our experience on the, on right. the senior end. Uh, some of them guys get in the game and they've worked really hard. Uh, but Kobe and Engel, they actually played against them when I was scouting the game from two years ago uh, in, on that field. So I'm hoping that helps us out when we go over there this week. I've been thinking what our uniforms look like. Uh, they were, kind of remind me of the if, if they were some green, had the old New York Jets uniform. Oh, yeah. yeah. I hadn't thought about that one. Uh, they get us right there on the uh, – we're trying to get outside on them a little bit and make them run. They got some big guys up inside. Uh, and I'm talking about some really good-sized kids. Uh, that number 52 that played in there, he's, he's a good football player at about 260, 270. And uh, he's pretty much hard to handle. And, you know, Hunter's doing all he can do. Uh, he's, he's playing tight end right now. So, um, you know, Hunter's a little bit undersized for that. He's 170. Right. Great job right here by Colin. You know, in a game like this, you have to have some good things happen for you. That was a big thing that, that happened early in the game. And uh, we were able to go ahead and capitalize on that and score uh, to get off to a pretty good start. That little pass right there is, is going to be good for us in the future. Uh, we hit it later on in the game a few times. Good little reverse play here to Jalen to get us down in a manageable situation there. Fourth and two, and uh, do a good job getting the first down. And then Kobe breaks a long run right here. Great job by Engel up front and Caleb and Levi up front and uh, get down to about the four-yard line. We get down to about the two right here, and, uh, you know, we got – Kobe does a great job of quarterback sneak, and the way they were lined up, I, I couldn't believe they took, didn't take that away. Uh, but they backed their uh, linebackers up, so we just took the quarterback sneak. So the Tigers on the board early. Unable to get in there for the two-point conversion. 7.54 to go first quarter. Addison and the Red Bay Tigers playing. Red Bay taking the lead, and the Tigers kicking off. Good job getting down the field right there by, by Jake Pounds. Good tackle right there by Jalen and, and Tanner. Second down and four to go. Addison on their own 43 yard line. Quarterback in the shotgun, three receivers to the right, one to the left. Quarterback the quarterback does a good job. He does a great job managing the game. He's a tough kid, runs the ball well, throws the ball just good enough, uh, but really good football player. Uh, Cam had a big night. Uh, he made a lot of plays. Uh, Cam's involved in about everything we do that's physical. <laughs> He's oh. kind of the H back, the blocking back, and and, and, the, and the inside linebacker. He's uh, he's always beat up from from the game. They do a good job right here, stripping the ball away. And um, you know we needed to we probably needed to go ahead and capitalize on this situation right here. You know we stopped them on defense. We're up six to nothing. Uh, we don't want to give them anything uh, to kind of get them going. You drive down and score. You want, yeah, you want to, in a game like this, it's, you're playing a good, really good team. Um, you want to try to get up and, and make them as frustrated as possible so they'll get out of their game plan. So our 6 nothing lead and the Tigers turnover. We had a couple of turnovers in the ball game. That fumble there when they had an interception later. And... Yeah, the interception, we're kind of we're trying to throw up, make a big play. Uh, we hadn't made one to Jalen on a long pass. and So uh, Kobe's just trying to get down there and give him a jump ball, and the guy made a good play on it. There's a little quarterback uh, counter play right there. Good job right there by Tanner and Jalen awesome. on the edges. and. You know, we're going to have to keep playing better and better on the edges. We're fixing to come across some guys that can really run um, in, the, in the second half of the season. So you're going to have to take care of everything on the outside. You're watching the Red Bay High School Football Coaches Show. Jack Ivey along with Coach Michael Jackson looking at highlights of the Tigers and the Addison Bulldogs. Good job right here by Colin stopping them on fourth down. So, you know, we have, the ball, we have a turnover, but we come in there and we stop them. So here's where we really need to get something going. Um, you know, take take some pressure off our defense, maybe move the ball a little bit and be able to punt it down in their territory. Um, but they make a big play right here and get us for a loss. 
and that kind of puts you behind the chains a little bit. Throw a little out route outside again that we hit later on. Try to stretch the defense a little bit. And uh, I thought we did that later on in the game, but we weren't able to move it very much, and that kind of put us behind the ball. Our defense had just come out and held them. Uh, great job right there by Colin. Colin's playing better and better each week. He's downfield and, on um, uh, Yeah, he's, another he's doing a really good job on, on, on uh, special teams too. But so we got to, we've got to tackle these guys in space a little bit better. We did miss some tackles the other night, and that's kind of – we don't usually do that. That's a good hard run by their running back, and they had a big old running back that ran hard. And, and I knew that up front we were going to have a good job right there again by Tanner. Uh, up front, they got a little bit of a mismatch. We got an eighth grader playing in there. Um, uh, Braden Parker's playing in there, number 72, and, and Levi. They get us on a post right there, and, and, and the guy just kind of outrun Kobe, got in behind him. But we had Levi Blanton in there uh, starting as a freshman, and, and uh, Braden Parker in there as an eighth grader. Right. Um, and that's, that's a tough matchup up front when you're playing somebody good. But, you know, right now with the injury situation, we've got no choice but to get those guys on the field. It's going to make them better later on. It don't help right now. Great play by Jalen right here <coughs> on the kickoff return. And, and um, I told our kids yesterday, I, he, he made a lot of people miss on that play. I don't, I don't know if, how well we blocked. He just made a great run. Good little seam route right there. And you see guy makes a good play on it. That's their quarterback playing corner. And um, he just makes a good break on it. Hits him around the ball and kind of dislodges it. They shoot up field on us right there and was able to stop us. Now they get back in their little power set and they're just kind of running it at you. Uh, that's a big old 230 pound dude right there running. And that's what they do, right? Uh, they that's what they do. That's their, that's their game You've got to hit this guy and you got to keep hitting him and you got to get a lot of people there. And you can see we got some people there, but they don't get four or five yards and that kind of puts you in short yardage situations. They didn't, they didn't throw the ball very much. They had the one touchdown pass and uh, I think they attempted like four or five passes the whole game. Good little tackle by Jalen right there. A little counter play. And, uh, you can see we got him stacked up. We're working hard in there, but you're still going to get two or three yards. A little sweet play. They did a good job with this all night. Uh, we had him right there. It was a big down, too. I think it was third and two. Uh, uh, they liked about two yards for a first down. We had him in the backfield and couldn't couldn't hold him down. Don't forget the Red Bay High School Football Coaches Show is being brought to you by Dr. Larry Stutz. Of course, he's running for re-election for your state senate seat. So on November the 6th, he wants you to go out and vote and reelect Dr. Larry Stutz, once again, a sponsor of the Red Bay High School Football Coaches Show. 14 to 6, Addison is uh, taking the lead here. I want to say that's the score going into halftime, too. Um, so we're, we're, we're right there in there, and they shoot the gap on us. And I tell you what, when you're playing somebody good, especially at their place, you can't have negative plays. Uh, great little throw right here on the scene route to Jalen. Boy, he kind of threaded that one in there between that free safety and, and kind of gets us going. Another big run right here by Kobe King. Uh, great block by Engel up front and Levi and Caleb and Dylan. Um, and I'm really disappointed we didn't get the ball. We had a guy shoot the, line, shoot the gap right there on us, and we had to get out of our bone set. And then we're kind of reaching, we're kind of in that seven or eight yard line uh, mark. And, Take a little shot right here on the out route. The guy makes a good break on it. I think, you know, we had a good matchup right there with Jalen in that corner, uh, but he makes a good play right there. And, you know, we don't, we don't do a whole lot of reverses and reverse passes, and right. you know, I'm not a big gadget kind of guy. Uh, and that's probably why, because when I go to do it one time, it don't work. Right. So I say, I'm never doing it again. So we had a chance there. Yeah, we had a good chance right to go there to, the, to, 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 to be even. even and, and I, and I think that makes a difference because the more confidence you can get with your kids when they're playing somebody good, uh, the better off you can be. Red Bay High School marching band performing at halftime. is. We're going to pick up the action in the second half and Addison with the football. 
Coach, uh, of course, trying to stop that run. Sometimes you got it's everybody, tough. everybody in the box. We're all in there tight, and you know, Kobe's a little gimped up in the back back there, and um, so that little quarterback just takes off and gets outside us, and and uh, makes a long run, makes a good play. Can't take nothing away from him. Fortunately, that's an illegal play. Uh, that there. is an illegal play. Uh, and backyard ball, that's a good play. He used to run that play all the time. Twenty to six with eleven twelve to go is. Tigers hold and Addison punt. And of course, get a little penalty on that. They had a little movement on that. And, you know, Jalen's trying to make a play. We got I don't be, think we touched it anyway, did we? Uh, I don't know. He's pretty close to it touching it. close. <laughs> he you wouldn't, you wouldn't tell him the officials that it was anyway, right? No, we want to take a shot. Great throw and catch right here. I knew it was we, we needed to take a shot up top with him and, and try to catch him off guard. And Jalen does a great job running under it. Kobe does a great job on the little fake. and. Uh, and, and get the long pass right there. 60 yards on this one, Coach. You know, that kind of gets us back in the game. We, you know, we're feeling pretty good about this. Um, but then again, we're having to work extremely hard to score. Uh, you know, when they're just handing the ball off and moving the ball, it's kind of it's kind of hard to get your confidence when we're having to work so hard. Jalen had six catches, 131 yards, and a touchdown, one of them being that one there for 60 yards and the Red Bay Tigers ended up uh, losing it. Coach, that's all the points we could muster for the night. 39 to 12 was your final score. The Red Bay Tigers uh, losing a tough one. We'll take her back in here and uh, go over a little bit of stats in the game. And, uh, of course, I'm gonna let Coach uh, do this in a minute. Coach, we had six penalties in the ball game. Right. But uh, I wanna highlight uh, just a couple plays of memory to me is uh, the Colin Humphreys. You know, if you're downfield and in position or whatever, good things happen, you know, because right. that first one, Colin's right there. there, he's on it. What happened next time he's down the field, you know, he's there to make the tackle again. So uh, you get yourself in position, sometimes uh, good things happen and that's uh, hats off to Colin there. Well, Colin's playing really good right now and we've got to keep on, uh, you know, we threw the ball well the other night, uh, 160 yards passing. Uh, you know, but we got to have a better balance. We know that we, our bread and butter is running the football, taking care of the football. Um, so, you know, we've got to we got to have a better balance than that. We want to be able to throw the ball. But see, some teams is uh, uh, we've never had a whole lot of success throwing the ball. Uh, you know, we played Belmont this week, and and Belmont we've never um, with the defense they run, we've never had a lot of success throwing the ball against them. Um, so we've got to be able to do some of both, uh, but big night for catching for Jalen. I thought Jalen had a really good game. Um, you know, I thought they were able to run the ball really well, uh, and that was kind of, kind of what kind of controlled the game. But we had over 300 yards of offense. Um, we ended up with uh, one interception, one fumble. Um, the, the interception, we were throwing the ball up at the end of the game. So we got to, you got to, in, in a game like that also, you've got to, if you're going into their place and playing a really good team, uh, usually you have to win the turnover battle. <laughs> if you don't, you're in trouble. Um, but, uh, you know, we got to keep getting better this week. I thought the penalty thing was about even. Right. Um, you know, they got a couple uh, couple penalties at the end of the game that really didn't matter, that, that made it look like it was about even. But, you know, they got two targeting penalties at the end of the game and gave them a lot more penalty yards. But for the most part, it was pretty even, uh, evenly called. But, um you know, a, a balanced night for us, but we were really not able to run the football. And by not being able to run the football, then we couldn't control the clock, control the game, and we couldn't uh, stop them from, from doing what they do best. Uh, so, we'll go, you know, going forward, we've got to, we've got to work on that. Uh, we've challenged our offensive line to, to get back to doing what we've been doing. Um, and some of it is, is just getting, getting the personnel right and kind of and moving people around. When we got people that's out, you got to make the right kind of shift. So, you know, we're looking forward to that this week. Of course, uh, got to make some adjustments for Friday night. Got one more game, a big rivalry game, of course, coming up Friday night. But uh, And then you're going to get a much-needed rest uh, a week right. off. And, uh, of course, going to this, this game, Coach, I don't care if it's a division game or what it is uh, when Red Bay and Belmont plays. <laughs> uh, doesn't matter if it means nothing as far as postseason for anyone, but uh, – I cannot ever remember this game not being a big game, can you? Well, no, and, and the thing about this is, is, you know, it's always a great crowd. Right. Whether it's over here or over there, it doesn't matter. Everybody comes out that, that's got – it's affiliated with these two schools uh, for this game. And, you know, over there, uh, the last two times we've been over there, 
it's kind of like the Hatton thing we talked about a couple times uh, a couple weeks ago. Um, you know, we haven't played great, and we've ended up winning. Uh, you know, last time we went over there, we were down 14 to nothing in the first quarter. Right. And somehow we ended up coming out of that game. But, uh, you know, so we're expecting a fight. We're expecting uh, – we know what kind of team they got. We know that Parker's a really good running back. He's been running forever over everybody. Um, you know, and he's a, he's a handful to handle. So we know they do some things really well. And Coach Coker and them guys uh, are going to be solid and they're going to be coached well. So, you know, we're going to have to take care of ourselves and do what we do best and kind of get back on track. But, you know, a great game going into this week. we got a big bonfire on uh, Thursday night uh, down at the city water park. And so kind of get excited about that. And then we take a week off in the middle of the year. It kind of worked out right for us because we've got probably the biggest two games we've played in a long time right after that. The Sheffield and the Carpet County game, that's all about the playoffs, some two games right there, and where you're either playing on the road or playing at home or whether you're in the playoffs. So. Uh, you know, we need to have a really good game Friday night, get back on the right track, and then at least, and I, like I tell the kids, I've never heard of playing four games in a row on the road right. in high school football. So, you know, I know these guys are excited that four of our last five games are at home um, and kind of get to play on our turf for a while. And so, you know, we're, we're excited to try to get to that point. Of course, uh, we don't make the schedules, and uh, of course, sometimes when they swap up the uh, as far as the division play or region play or area play, whatever you want to call it, is uh, you know we give up uh, uh, Lamar County and we give up Sullivan, right. and then they uh, pop us with Colbert County and Tanner. Tanner, and, uh, you're right. Uh, Addison Bulldogs and stuff, but uh, I like kind of switching it up, playing some different teams. Though. Well, it, you know it is, and Addison Addison's had a good team. They they went to the third round last year, and. Uh, they've got some good young kids, and it's going to be a battle in the future. I'm looking forward to next year playing them at Red Bay. Right. Uh, so we don't have to travel down there and play in that environment. And uh, last time we played them at Red Bay, it really helped us out a few years back. So uh, the good thing about the way our schedule's kind of worked out is if you like watching football and like watching us play at home, uh, pretty much the next year right. <laughs> you're going to get to see a lot of home games because, uh, you know, the, the schedules flop from year to year. So next year, four of our first five games will be at home. So after we get past game five this year, you know, we're guaranteed about um, eight out of the next ten games uh, at Red Bay for sure. And the friendly kind. So, uh, you know, that's, that's one good thing I keep telling our kids, hey, you just hang in there. And, you know, we, I know we travel a lot, but it's going to get better. Of course, uh, Coach, I want to say hats off to the um, quarterback club and all the ones that's involved in uh, – uh, taking care of the team. You got all these bus drivers that's driving on these long trips that tri get you down right. there and safe and food after the game. And uh, that those, by the way, the food doesn't just show up no. by itself <laughs> after the game. Somebody's got to coordinate all this and have it there. So hats off to all those people. Let's go back to the uh, Belmont game Friday night. Um, of course, Belmont's been running that old wing tee right. uh, deal since uh, Coach Tandy Gerald's came down. That's and, right. Uh, install that and they do a good job running it how do they compare uh, I know Addison is a powerhouse but how does right. Belmont and Addison's offense well compare? they're both run oriented and uh, you know I think Belmont and does a good job throwing the ball uh, Addison the quarterback throws the ball but that ain't what they try to do first um, you know they're Addison's more um, uh, uh, strictly power uh, Belmont's a little bit more multiple and uh, got some good little running backs on the edges. Um, they've always hurt us with that. And got a great inside runner. You know, Parker uh, runs the ball extremely well, and, and we've been watching him run for the last three, four years. So we know how well they run inside. And they're big. Right. You know, they're always bigger than us up front. Uh, got a little bit of size advantage. Uh, you know, I'm hoping we got a little bit of quickness advantage up front. The thing with Addison is they had a little bit of a size advantage, but they were just as quick as we were too. So. They had the kind of double whammy going on there. So, uh, you know, they're very similar in what they do uh, as far as their run game goes. Uh, Belmont is a little, a little bit more multiple this year. They run a little bit more jet sweep and try to get on the outside a little bit and throw, got a good little bootleg package with a little quarterback that they get, they're playing now. And so, um, you know, we'll have to be prepared for all that. Coach Purser does a great job getting ready for these games. And, uh, you know, we're, we're pretty much always where we're supposed to be. But we've got to be able to make that play when we're there too. Coach, you've been involved, uh, been involved with a lot of rivalries in your lifetime and whatever. And, uh, of course, Belmont and Red Bay goes back to before I was born, I guess. But uh, maybe not quite back that far. <laughs> but 
I remember the Red Bay Belmont rivalries for many, many, many years. And uh, as far as this area, there's uh, probably not any better rivalry than uh, Belmont and Red Bay. It doesn't matter what kind of sport. So, well, the you, kids know each other. Oh too. yeah. I mean, they they pretty much know each other, and uh, you know they play against each other in every, every sport, and so they're kind of uh, you know we we know about everybody on their team. They know about everybody on our team. Coach, we're looking forward to it. We just need a big crowd down at Belmont Friday night. That's get right. there early, get you a seat, and. Uh, you bring you a chair. Yeah, you can sit around. They got plenty of chairs oh, down there. Oh yeah. <laughs> so uh, I tell you what, I believe it's going to be a packed house, and uh, it's going to be hot this week yes, as far is. as uh, uh, practicing and all that stuff. But I know it's going to be a good game Friday night. We look forward to it. If you can't make it to the game, you, of course we'll have it where you can listen to it and watch it as well. So uh, we always want to say how much we appreciate it, folks. Uh, on Friday night, coach, I'm getting texts now. These are. Uh, this guy's watching in Chicago, and this guy's <laughs> watching in Maine, and you got them all over the country. And uh, hats off to uh, some of our military guys, or right. Austin Milam, he's over in uh, in Korea That's watching. That's right. And then you got uh, Mr. Humphreys. Is it Austin? Is that is right. Uh, right, right. He he was out in New Mexico, and his family was out visiting him the other night. So they're watching in New Mexico. So well, we have a lot of former players that go in the military. Yeah. Every year we're going to have uh, two, three to four guys. Uh, off our team that go in the military and uh, that's just something we've always done there so we, you kind of got a uh, a base of it like oh, that yeah. and, but a lot of our guys uh, uh, go into the military either right out of high school or at, right. a year after in college uh, but a lot of those guys were really good football players for us and we kind of can see it I can kind of tell who goes in the, uh, who likes the the work ethic and staying in shape part of it and um, and usually they're pretty aggressive. <laughs> right. Okay. So uh, we're, we're happy those guys are, are doing well. And old Kyle Fuller is another one. we got uh, tons of folks that watch us, and folks, you don't know how much we appreciate it. And uh, I know some folks can't get to the game, especially right. if it's an hour and a half away or so. But, uh, but we appreciate you watching and listening to the games. Don't forget, if you'd like to get a copy of the game, we do have those games available on DVD. And a special thanks to Dr. Larry Stutz. He is, of course, your state senator at this time. He's running for re-election on November the 6th. So don't forget to go to the polls and reelect uh, Dr. Larry Stutz as your next state senator. That's been a paid political paid for by Dr. Larry Stutz. And Dr. Stutz, we appreciate you for helping make this coaching show possible. Coach Michael Jackson, we'll see you Friday night. You are going to be there. I'm going to be there. You're going to be there. I'm excited Everybody. about being there. But the, 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 the number one thing you can do after a game from like, like, last, like last week is uh, get back on the field. You know, for our kids, too, for them to feel better. But get back on the field and play. Talk about it a little bit, put it behind you, and move forward, right? That's right. And uh, hopefully the Tigers can uh, get back in action on the field this week and have a good week's practice, and we'll have a good game Friday night. Keith on the controls, the world-famous Coach Michael Jackson. <laughs> How many folks get to do a coaching show with Coach Michael Jackson, right? Have you ever thought about that? Yeah, that's right. Nobody. <laughs> we'll see you next time. We'll see you Friday night. This is the Red Bay Tiger Football Network. Y'all have a great day. You've been watching the Red Bay Tiger Football Coaches Show with Red Bay Tiger Head Coach Michael Jackson and your Tiger Football Coaches Show host, Jack Ivey.